Okay. Why is it? Is it normally the whoa, okay. It feels overly sensitive. Oh. Ah. Hello. Ah. What is what is it doing? Hello? Hello? Hello, hello? Okay, I'm just gonna leave you. Hello? I don't know why. <laughs> Why is it playing? I wonder if that's some new update is where it plays my voice back into my headset, which is super annoying. Because I don't want to hear myself as I'm playing. It just gives me double voice. But I don't see an option or anything to fix that. And I don't think it used to do that. So annoying. Alright. Maybe if I turn down the microphone? Hello? sound the same. <sighs> okay. Alright, hello, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. I think I could actually turn the game audio up. Hmm, interesting that I can turn those off. Okay. So, I guess I'm ready. I just... Guess I'm hearing myself in double voice, which is super annoying. Okay. Like, it, I feel like it didn't start happening until after I streamed off my old computer, but that should be completely unrelated. Alright, let's start game over. It's, it doesn't sound like this when I'm... Um just regular recording. So it's definitely something to do with XSplit. Hurry up. What's happening? No, continue streaming. Okay. And here we are, that was rather short. Okay. Aloha, this is Icy, a game that made its way into my game library without me knowing how. <laughs> I just saw this in my library and could not for the life of me remember how it got there. I can only imagine that it's... What was I saying? I can only imagine that it, my thoughts are not coming through. What well, is happening? Oh, I can only imagine that it made its way in through my recommendation feed and I like impulse bought it instead of like putting it on my wish list or something. It, maybe it was on sale the same day I saw it. So I just, I own this game and I'm quite glad of it because this game was a lot of fun to play. So I am happy to be showing it off today. 
Oh, what's happening over here? Okay, I'm apparently not connected to the chat. And we shall try again. And your whole point of this whole screen, second computer being here is so that I can see the chat. Come on. There we go. Chat is, chat is now working. Okay. Okay. So... One other thing I need to get off my chest right now. My most successful stream to date was Unravel. For that stream, I've... There were like tw at least 25. I think it went up to 27 people watching it at the same time. That was an incredible day. And that was for my like four year anniversary. And when I look back on YouTube, I see it is at the bottom of the barrel for a watched series. And I am astonished and sad because of that. So check it out if you have the time. Otherwise, okay, enough. Enough. What's sponsoring my own videos? I don't know. We're getting started. Okay. So, this is a side scroll fighter, basically, which somehow has not. Somehow I haven't played many of these. Like, it's not. Like, I don't like these games or anything, it's just that I don't run into them. Like, ever. Um, I've gotten... Oh, like, side-scrolling shooters, but, like, not fighters, for whatever reason. Um... If you wanted to, like, you could consider, like, Smash Brothers... Well, which one was it? Brawl? <laughs> and their campaign, sort of, is a side-scrolling fighter? But, like, that's niche. I'm gonna have to get used to this game all over again. It'll be a little bit of a learning curve. But I should remember most stuff. So, what makes this game fun is for a very different reason. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Wait, are my buttons not mapped right? What's happening? Why can't I... Okay. Hold on a minute. Oh, there's no way to... Why is that happening? <laughs> Sounds all messed up. And, like, I'm... That is beyond the weird. The weird things are happening right now that I'm not expecting to be happening. Okay, no. My controls must be set up right. Yeah. What is going on with the music? <laughs> A lot of things that I... Maybe these all things are normal and just I didn't notice these things the first time, but... No, the music was definitely glitching out. So... Things are moving very easily right now, but that's to be expected. But, okay. <laughs> I was about to say the door wasn't going away.
Okay, maybe I was just remembering the dash button wrong. Or maybe I was reading the tutorial wrong? I don't know. I thought it told me to press B to dash, and then it, B was doing nothing. Also, one other weird quirk that I've noticed is that if you... If you press it, like, left or right, and then hold up, you'll just keep running in whatever direction you're running. It's so weird. Something I don't think I've ever noticed before. Okay, so... Can I... F I can't afford anything. Alright. And I'll just ignore that for now. Okay. Right, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to need to get better at this game. <laughs> and I don't remember any of the combo sets anymore. At all. Of course, that, that'll just get relearned just by going to the upgrade system. Oh boy, I... Uh, so, like, I played this, like, during the summer, I think. So, I have pretty much lost ev all my controls at this point. Yeah, this game is weird, and you will see why. No! Okay, so <laughs> this the the best thing I have to compare this to is Stanley Parable, um, because we're about to get a narrator, but it's not. It's I don't know you. It, the comparison is there, but it's I don't think it's too strong. This is very much its own game. All right, so we got <laughs> these which these text files which we can read. So I is a program or of some sort. Oh, well. for now we just start the game back up, I guess. Okay. Uh, yes, I am. Um, no, wait. Never mind. I guess I don't know what that even does. Uh, to be honest, yes, I do. Okay. So, welcome to Icy. Things are about to get interesting.
In the middle of a dark, quiet room, filled only by the sounds of humming machines, a figure floats, suspended. She, Icy, has no memories, no past. Memories to her are not important. Her existence only serves one purpose, to kill Judas. That wicked devil, the bringer of the apocalypse. It looks like... No matter oh, how many difficulties what's the thing? or obstacles she will face, Icy understands uh, that she must accomplish her mission. What's that recruiter's name of, like, that patriotic character? I can't remember. Destroy Judas. In the darkness, Icy awakes. At first, she seems unwilling to leave. Well, her home is the simple stasis tank. The thought of venturing out to kill Judas is not enough to arouse her interests. You wouldn't even wake up if there was an earthquake. Lazy. Do my words mean nothing to you? Or do you simply not understand what I'm saying? Oh, wait. I know, I know. Actually, Icy hasn't woken up. She's just dreamed that she's <laughs> like that movie. Uh, I, I, I've already 100% at this game, so I know Perhaps she's inside everything that can happen in this game. She'll probably only wake up when Carcosa appears. The Black Star always rises. Good night, Icy. In the middle of a dark, okay. quiet room, filled only by the sounds of... So, we have to do this one more time, since I... Floats, I needed to do that. She, Icy, has no memories, no past. Memories to her are not important. Her existence only serves one purpose. To kill Judas. Okay, we can't skip the cutscene. Icy has left the laboratory. She understands... That as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding. Okay. So, there's one thing I want to change. Just because I don't know what it does. Icy is waiting. But she knows not what Oh, it's so unfair that I know know everything already. But it's, it's still, the combat is still fun for this game, and I hope you guys get to <laughs> enjoy the he doesn't know it, but a quirky narrator. Exciting adventure is waiting for her. She has no reason to act like a rock, stupidly moving nowhere, waiting for nothing. Oh, I understand. Icy feels that her decision may have not been the right one. She hopes she can make her choice again. That would solve a lot of problems. All she has to do is go back. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Wait a minute. Let me take a look. Ah, all you have to do is yell... Open Sesame! And the gates will open, allowing Icy to choose again. Open Sesame! <laughs> I don't know, I don't feel like, I can't really yell. I, there's people asleep still, I think. <laughs> Are you shy, or just yell, Open Sesame! And everything will be fine. I'm not trying to make you feel ashamed. These are the rules. We must abide by them. Shout with me. Open Sesame! <sighs> if 
Fine, fine, fine. It seems that you might actually be mute. <laughs> Just hold on. Okay. Enter, please. Okay, yes. Um, yes, I did take off the mask. That's the one thing I wanted to change. So this is how, if you find the game too hard and, like, you sit at the hard, you can go back and do again, and you... All the, this is just let you go through all this again. In the middle of a dark, quiet room, filled only by the sounds of humming okay. machines, a figure floats, Will you let me skip? Suspended. She, Icy, has no memory. You will not let me skip. No oh, that is a shame. Memories to her are not <laughs> It's already important. going to the beginning of the game like multiple times in a row. Her existence only serves one purpose. There we go. To kill now Judas. we can skip. Okay. So, I said yes to take off the mask, but I still don't know what the mask is. So, whatever. But I wanted to do that because I... That's... I don't know. Oh. More soldiers sit by Judas to stop Icy. Kill them. Oh boy, I really need to get my act together. Look for later. Okay, that's a thing. Okay, that's a thing. Another. I'll eventually have a look at all the. The upgrade menu will eventually tell me about all the different combos I'll do. But I'll worry about that when I can actually utilize it. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch the D pad. I don't like using the stick. Okay. I see reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. <laughs> I'm just taking all these hits. Oh, I'm playing so badly. And it may not look like I'm playing all that badly, but I am playing badly. Especially if I'm going to be playing on hard. Okay, you. You're annoying. Because he has that grapple attack, which is just takes you out, even if you have your shield up. Yeah, look at me, I'm gonna die at this rate. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Oh, I'm gonna need to get way better at dodging. There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. I see moves to activate it. I see slips off the edge of the cliff. I see is absolutely positive that the only way to cross the ravine uh. is by activating the photon bridge. For some unknown reason, I see insisted on jumping into the ravine. She didn't realize that she has to press a button to activate the bridge. I see finally understands how to activate the photon bridge. 
Oh, this is crap. Cracks me up now. Jump into the ravine again. What? You jumped again? God, why did you jump down there again? You have zero common sense. Wait, wait. Don't panic. There's something I wanted to ask you. Are you messing with me? I told you time after time. It couldn't be any more simple. All you had to do was walk over there and press the button. Just walk slowly, press the button. Why do you insist on jumping over and over? I've never met anyone like you, refusing to acknowledge my advice. Don't you know this is an action game? Your main goal is to go kill monsters. Don't you get that? You know, you shouldn't jump into ravines over and over, right? I can't be your guide if you won't listen. You get that, right? Trust me. If you continue like this, your story will only end tragically. I'll stop scolding you for now. I trust you know how to act from here on out, yes? Let's try this again. Whee! Ha! Well done. You win, you win. I never considered this possibility before. What do I do now? Hmm, yes, I could probably make a few changes. Make a temporary area, add a few new things. Right, and a surprise. Let's take a look at what's ahead. Remember, you absolutely must listen to my directions. Ah, you see? I even prepared a treasure chest for you. Do you think I would let you struggle without giving you any rewards? Open it, if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. So much cash! Aren't you grateful? On this long and arduous road, aren't you happy to win a little bit of spending money? Right, let's get back to the story. Follow the arrow. <laughs> oh, because of, of course, who... Damn it, again? Follow my directions. This path wasn't meant for you. Go back the way you came. Turn around. Get back to the store. Ugh. Why did you insist on coming this way? Did I scare you by saying your journey would end tragically? <laughs> you people are always like this. Whenever somebody shares their advice with you, you seem to take it to heart. But really, it's just gone in one ear and right out the other. You think I'm hurting you? I've given so much to you. You wanted to jump off a cliff into a ravine. I didn't let you die. I made a new area for you. I gave you a surprise. And I even presented you with a treasure chest. But you can't even follow arrows that I laid out for you. My goal all along has been to set you on the right path. The path that I have created for you. But now it's too late. You have no fear for the unknown and no respect for the rules. Haven't you noticed that your choices are meaningless? Have you tried opening your eyes? The truth is staring you right in the face. You and me, we only have one choice. There's only one road for us to walk. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. I'll just wipe your memory. I hope that next time I'll meet someone who's willing to listen to me. Or someone else, anyone else other than you. Ah, it's nearly time. Well, it's time to say goodbye. I hope the Black Star rises as it should. Goodbye, I... So, if you haven't p caught the picture yet, there are just a multitude of multitude of different endings to this game. Similar to how Sp Stanley Parable had multiple, multiple endings. And of course, you have your quirky narrator to guide you through it all.
So every every time we get a different ending, we'll get a little bit of sort of, I guess, lore to the game. As well. So I I have I forgotten something? What was I doing? I seem to remember guiding <laughs> Icy to... <laughs> Did you wipe his own memory? Select... I... Who... Who am I? <laughs> I think the whole point was that he accidentally <laughs> got his own memory instead. Icy has okay. Laboratory. Off we go. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding. Okay. Let's see. So what have I got? I got Slyco on air. Bounce back. Okay. I, that's how you send people up. Okay. You got uppercut. You got down cut, I guess. Overload. Yeah, that's the vertical cut. And just regular... Okay. I have no idea where... I should probably start with like some health or something, since I'm definitely getting beaten up. Okay. Um, did I buy that? Oh, I can't afford that. Gosh dang it. Alright. Okay, that's a good one, I think. Okay. Okay, I guess that's all I can afford. More soldiers sent by Judas to stop Isaac. Kill them. Gosh, I've already. F uh, what did I buy you guys even? Nope, that's not one of the ones I bought. Oh dear. Okay, a new city pad. Okay. I'm definitely gonna need to learn all these. It is going to be so important that I get uh, good at the controls and learn all the combos again. I don't think we need to jump down that pit again because the if you just continue following the arrows you just get put back on the same path that you would have. I see reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. Ah I only bought like two things that I don't remember what <laughs> Any, either of them are. I'll just continue to get whacked by every single shot. Ah! Okay. Okay, I actually did the counter that time. I think. I'm not quite sure what I did actually. Console that will activate the photon bridge. I see moves to activate it. Yay, we have a bridge.
Okay, that's right, that's a random thing where you can just get extra damage in. Okay. Slowly remembering things about this game. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. Icy slipped and fell right into the sewage. <laughs> Uh huh. Icy fell again. God, are you so clumsy that you can't even make it over? Okay, I think that's it. That's all we get. But still, dialogue is dialogue. It's just, there's just tons of it throughout the game like that. Where the narrator just makes fun of you, basically. Okay, what did I even get? X, X, Y, Y, Y. Oh, that's the one I got. Okay. Um, X, X, Y, Y. Yes, I'll get that one. Okay. I see arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits the ha. Wait, where's the bridge? Hmm. Right. Just keep following the arrow. Okay. Nah. Oh, <laughs> uh, we could just totally jump the gap. Well, what? How did you come in here? This... Something's wrong here. I see arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul in sight. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems as if everyone has been wiped out. The culprit? Most likely Judas. Icy decides to head deeper into town, not hesitating to follow the arrow. <sighs> Icy ignores yet another arrow, and selfishly continues on her own path. What Icy doesn't realize is that unless she defeats Thor in the village, Ultimopolis Gates will refuse her entry. by everything. The gates to Ultimopolis are closed, just as promised. Icy has completely, totally, and unnecessarily wasted her time. Her only option is to follow the arrow. Alright, that's all we get for now. Of course, when we come back to this area, all the enemies will be defeated, so it's not a total waste of time. Here, in this place. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just want to see if you can get more dialogue out, but nope. Okay. We definitely have to follow the arrow now. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to follow the arrow. Okay, okay.
Arr, stop hitting me. that one. Oh, that's right. I do need to do that. Okay. I should keep that in mind as I fight this boss. But this boss is pretty easy as long as you stay airborne. As Icy defeats Thor, the gates to Ultimopolis slide open. Okay, we're ready for that. Actually, let's go this way. I see enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature. Just like the attic. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Again? Can't you just follow the arrow? At least once? I... Oh, well... well this level was never finished. Do you realize how much inconvenience I've suffered trying to make a successful game? A few flaws, a few bugs here and there. It's normal. Like this place. I never finished applying the colors. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. In reality, it's really difficult to make a game. And it's very easy for problems like this to appear. Just, just wait a minute. I know you don't trust me. I'll just have to show you. So this, just for a little information about this game, this game wound up in, like, you'd call it, like, development limbo or something like that, um, where it was, like, it was, like, stuck. It was, the game wasn't getting anywhere, 
and it was like welcome to the archive it, it was stuck for like over 10 years stored here being made a good game fun gameplay is of utmost importance I've been iterating on prototypes for over 10 years can you believe it that's an entire decade here let me show you my first prototype this is a very early version of the game you could change to a long-range weapon so that you could use both melee and ranged attacks but then I thought who in their right mind would care for such an amazing weapon no player would want it not a single one So, in the end, I completely abandoned this prototype. That brings us to the second version. In the second version, there was a sort of mix between the demonic enemies and the player. You could absorb the enemy's powers and use them for your own. But then I ran into a big problem. Cost. Don't you think it would be a waste to spend so much time on making such a complicated game? only to run out of cash halfway through development? After all, games do need to make money. So I cut this version as well. Unknowingly, 10 years flew by in the blink of an eye. With all the effort I spent, I think a few scattered bugs or missing features are entirely acceptable. I just want you to understand me and empathize with me. I sacrificed so much trying to make this a fun experience for you. I spent 10 years of my youth on this. Even if you're not entirely enjoying the experience, don't you think you could give the game a five star rating? Like this. Besides, Who's going to dig this deep into a game? The visuals are stunning. Buy it. The producer is famous. Buy it. There are so many reviews. Buy it. I thought that's all people considered when buying a new game. Like a machine spewing out cash. Do you really beat all the games you buy? Games are about entertainment. Don't place too much value on a few mishaps here and there. People will still buy the game even if the servers are bad. People will still buy the game if there are bugs. So, man, why not buy another? Okay. So now we basically we get checkpoints for every new area we discover, but I actually do need to go follow the directions for a bit because I know from experience that there is some skippable stuff early on in the playthrough that I don't want to skip out on because it, well, it's just less content if you skip it, basically. Because my first playthrough was spent most with mostly just trying to break, like. The, the narrator's dialogue as much as possible because it was too much fun. So like, of, the last thing I did at the, at the end was like finally listen to what the narrator was wanted me to do. So I spent so, I spent so much time just not following what he was saying and trying to like upset him as much as possible. This game's Great. Who hasn't done that with Stanley Parable, though? Oh, 
Okay, that was nice and <laughs> simple. There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. I see moves to activate it. What? How did... Uh, I love the little sound effect of it. like a page being turned like he's trying to figure out how I did that. This game is very much little details. Well, they're all like ready to go. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits the ha. Wait, where's the bridge? Hmm. Right, just keep following the arrow. Icy jumps down. It seems like this is an old sewer. I've almost got everything at least unlocked. Okay. And I've got these two inter special moves that I, <laughs> when I first played, didn't ever mess with until like the end of the game and then find out how useful they are. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place wasn't always a sewer. And who is to blame? Judas. <laughs> oh, the amount of time that gets Judas gets blamed for everything. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Okay, we're just gonna get the main path done. I or at least this done. Arrow through and passes through the gate. So this will actually not be here if you skip ahead. Because as you saw, I was easily able to skip over this place. I see senses that the key to her escape is somewhere in front of her. Which I don't really understand why, like this like suddenly doesn't exist if you like don't do it first so to speak but like all the enemies here like the narrator talking will all just like be gone and you'll the only thing that remains will be an arrow that points this way that actually doesn't lead you to anything it's hilarious oh 
Oh, I actually got a counter. Nice. Okay. Oh my god, that was such a big combo. Oh, I died. Really? Dang it. Oh. That's a sad, sad death. But I, like, got super comboed there. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place... Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Okay, stop it. Follows the arrow through and passes through the gate. I see senses that the key to her escape is somewhere in front of her. Oh my god, why? Icy discovers a special treasure chest. A strange mark flashes across her eyes. Icy's dash ability has grown stronger. Yeah, so now we can dash five times in a row, basically, and... She can probably even escape from this damned underground labyrinth. Icy decides to immediately return to
So this is, this is the details. It's literally just telling you how to navigate back to where you want to go. It's weird. But, like, you don't ever see this if you skip this section of the game, like I did. So weird. Yeah, nothing happens when you do that. Okay, so the arrow changes. But it's only, like, it'll only be for this run afterwards. It will not be unchanged. It's silly. Icy discovers a hidden room. Icy opened the treasure chest and turned back to follow the arrow once more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. All that's waiting is just an empty room. See? I told you. There's nothing here. Why did you bother coming? Oh, I know. Your hearing must be bad. Wait for a second. That is enough! I don't want to have to remind you every single time, but this world is depending on you. That wicked devil must be destroyed. You still have much to do. Why do you insist on wasting time here? I've always believed people should be a little more trusting and a lot less pompous. But you... You haven't even given me the chance to show my true genius. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand at all. There's nothing here. Not even monsters for you to practice killing. What sort of temptation could an empty room like this have for you? Could it be that you're absolutely terrible <laughs> at using a controller? Or that your cat has taken over for you? No, it can't be that. Cats could listen to instructions better than you. Your behavior is completely illogical. Is it that hard to follow an arrow? Why aren't you paying attention? Well, I'm furious. Furious! That's it. I'm not saying another word until you get out of this room. I swear it! <sighs> Um, bum, dun, um, bum, 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 Okay. Yes. What? Wait, does that mean you wasted all this time in this room just to get a trophy? I... I really have nothing else to say to you. I truly do not understand why someone would play a game just to earn trophies. So that was an achievement, by the way. Are you one of those mythical achievement addicts I've heard so much about? You're like a bull rushing towards a red cloth, not knowing what awaits on the other side. Give me a second. Ah, I see. Let's try again. A trophy. A trophy! Ugh. So it's like that, huh? You don't care what happens next, right? All you think about is get this trophy. Get that trophy. 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 
You don't even care about the story or the content that I've prepared for you for the rest of the game. Your mission isn't to <laughs> it's to get all the trophies. Am I wrong? So this is what you call fun. Yeah? You really think a trophy can entertain you? You're just looking for more trophy points. Do you know how that makes us game producers feel? You're rendering the content we make completely meaningless. You think playing a game for this petty reason is fun? You just want to show off to the other players. To make yourself feel big, mighty, and important. You're probably not even paying attention to what I'm saying. You don't realize how useless a trophy really is. Maybe you need a little stimulation. Maybe once after you collect all these damn trophies, you'll move on to accomplish your real mission. You have no idea how much time I spent making these enemies and stunning animations. And you, you just care about these trophies. If I had known that, I would have made some easy farming game and not bothered spending time on battle animations or plot development. Just you wait. My revenge is just beginning. Wait for... Yay! So, like, every time you get a different ending, get, that would be another achievement, basically. Except for that room where you, you get, like, several achievements in a row just for breaking trophies and stuff. Okay. Okay. 